Today's demonstration is on the latest version of Yasui's Digital Vacuum Wax Injector and Advanced Auto Clamp System. My name is Brian Romanoff from Romanoff International. We're located in New York and we are the master distributor of Yasui uh, equipment and products uh, for North and South America. The Yasui Digital Vacuum Wax Injector and Advanced Auto Clamp System ensures complete wax seals with no shrinkage. The digital screen on the Digital Vacuum Wax Injector is more accurate than traditional analog models. The pressure controller has over 10,000 combinations which allows you to customize your own specific injection parameters which will result in more consistent quality patterns every time. The automatic mold clamp doubles your production output. The system also features a wax level gauge which can be read from the auto clamp system Therefore, it's not necessary to open the cover to check your wax levels anymore. The vacuum wax injector can be purchased separately or as a complete set and is made in Japan. Another significant benefit of this latest version is it has a multiple injection. What this means is that no longer is just a single injection of the wax. What it is is actually it's going to do a combination of a few steps. It's going to do its traditional vacuuming of the wax mold, rubber mold remove any air from there, then do an injection of the wax, and before that wax solidifies, it will do a second injection, therefore all shrinkage has been eliminated and your wax patterns are more consistent in weight and size. The digital vacuum wax injector itself has different features on there which you should be aware of. There's a three-way valve used to change the connection to, to the vacuum chamber. There's also a safety release valve that can be actuated um, uh, when inside the pressure, the, when the inside pressure in the pot has become abnormally high. There's four cap nuts on the wax pot lid that hold the cover down. There's a pressure gauge in the wax pot, uh, as you can see, which is indicated there. The air pressure regulator, which is knob, is used for adjusting, adjusting the pressure inside the wax pot. Turning it to the left, will be to decrease the pressure and turning it to the right will be for increasing. There's a, um, a heated nozzle which is um, in, in between the mold clamp and the uh, pot itself. Uh, there's the on off switch uh, which is right there in the bottom which is very easy obviously. Uh, and then there's the operation panel of the, of the unit itself. On the back of the machine well, actually on the side of the machine you have two valves right here which is one is for the one on the left is for draining the vacuum chamber which is the middle chamber and then the one on the right is for draining the actual uh, wax pot itself on the back of the unit the rear of the unit there's a few different uh, hookups there there's the one hookup for the foot switch and then there's also a hookup for the actual pressure control itself there's also a fuse a holder on the bottom um, and there's also the socket for the AC power itself. The Yasui Advanced Auto Clamp System is very easy to use once you understand what each specific button controls. There's pressure number one which actually represents the initial injection pressure of the wax going into the rubber mold. The secondary, the pressure number two is actually the secondary wax injection pressure. That's actually used to ensure that the wax mold uh, piece is going to solidify as one solid uniform without any shrinkage. The, the time button represents the actual uh, starting time, how much delay in between the first injection and the second injection. The clamp button represents the actual mold clamp pressure going down. The next one that says hold is the hold uh, molding time for after the wax is injected in there, how long the mold is going to hold for uh, for it to solidify. The next one is the actual forward pressure, how much pressure the rubber mold is going to be placed onto the injection nozzle. Um, the next one that says the set, uh, the vacuum time is actually how much time of uh, is vacuuming is going to occur, occur prior to the wax being injected into the rubber mold. And the last setting is actually the forward injection time, uh, how long the unit is actually going to be pushing forward on the rubber mold onto the wax nozzle. Okay, these, these settings are 10, there's 10 settings 
that are sent from the factory uh, and they're generally most common and popular starting off with very thin pieces to very heavy pieces and you can easily modify and change each parameter uh, of the for each specific application so you can uh, save that setting into your uh, mold clamp write that particular savings or onto the rubber mold is number program number 63 and therefore there's no more thinking involved when you want to uh, get proper and clean waxes the next time you need that rubber mold. When it comes to connecting the vacuum wax injector there's several uh, fittings that need to be hooked up properly and securely to avoid any leakage which could cause ill effects on your operation of the machine. When it comes to connecting the vacuum pump uh, we want to connect the air hose, the, the black hose, to the back of the pressure fitting on the wax injector. Goes right there, okay, and then that hose right there will go over to the vacuum pump right over here. That three-way valve that's on top of the vacuum wax injector should always be released each evening therefore there's no continuous vacuum pull on the, mach on the machine which could um, have actually an ill effect of pulling oil into your wax injector which could be really bad. When it comes to hooking up the air pressure, the air pressure is hooked up to the uh, top right by the regulator right over there very simple and when it comes to hooking up the um, advanced auto clamp there's hoses one through five on the back that need to be hooked up properly and we'll show you right now as far as the connections go there's the first one which is clamp port number one that hose is going to start off there and continue over to the top of the mole clamp right there the top piston then there's that's the controlling the clamping pressure of the, of the auto. auto clamp then there's number two hose which is coming off the back of the clamp that's going to go back to the clamp over here and that's going to be doing number two is going to be doing the forward pressure then number three is a hose clamp it's going to be on the back that's going right up to the regulator that's going to be the air into the wax pot itself Number four is going to be the actual compressed air supply, which is going into the back of that machine right there when you're using both machines at the same time. Then number five is the controlled amount of air that's coming out of the pressure controller, which is going to go into the top of the wax pot itself. It's going to be connected by the compressed, compressed fitting. The back of the controller or the uh, advanced auto clamp also has the power switch, which is on the uh, upper corner. There's also connector A, connector B, and then there's also the uh, start switch cable connector for a connection with the start button on the clamp unit itself, and then there's the power supply on the bottom. Okay. Using the operational Stop. panel on the digital vacuum wax injector is very simple and easy. The temperatures that you see right now indicate two things. On the left side is indicating the wax pot temperature right now and on the right side is indicating the nozzle temperature. Those two temperatures right now are, the, are in centigrade and those are actually the factory settings. You can go up and down depending on what type of wax you're using or the thick, thickness or thinness of your wax pieces and that will um, vary, your, vary your results. When it comes to actually changing the temperatures, very easy to do that. When you want to change the wax pot temperature, you would want to push in the dial. The temp light will start to flash, and then you can turn it to the right or to the left if you want to increase or decrease the actual temperature. After you've found the temperature you want, 75 degrees centigrade, you can push in the button to lock it in, or you can just leave it and it'll lock it automatically. When it comes to modifying the nozzle temperature, same process again. Press the button, turn it in and then go to the right to increase it and then turn it to the left to decrease it and then press the button again to lock it or leave it as is. When you want to change the time, it's the same process, very simple. Press the time button, now it shows that you have three seconds of vacuum on the, uh, on the mold and on the right side you have six seconds of injection time. That as well could be changed up and down, very simply by pressing in the buttons, the dials.